Oh, are we on the air? Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I'm going to talk about 10 reasons you should practice and play in an actual pool hall. Number one, resistance. Even if you're a bar box player, you're going to get something out of playing on nine foot tables. If you're practicing on nine foot tables and you transition to a bar box, you're going to have a lot less trouble than a guy that's transitioning from bar boxes to nine foot tables. Some of you may even be totally frustrated playing on a nine foot table because you've never had that kind of experience, but it is worth the effort. It is worth the frustration initially to play with resistance. The pockets are smaller relative to the size of the table. The table is longer. You're going to have longer shots and that's going to make you better when you play on the smaller tables. Number two, education. Being around good players, which is what you're going to find in pool halls most generally, being around good players, you're just through osmosis, you're going to pick up some tips. Uh, I was in a pool hall about a week ago and I heard two very skilled players having a full discussion about intercepting bank shots. And it was just very interesting to watch uh, two guys that are very good at the game, very good at one pocket, having a conversation about bank shots. And this is the kind of thing you're not going to get at home and you're not going to get in a in a bar, especially in a bar. Uh, if there's an education about it in most bars, it's going to be totally ridiculous. So education is a key reason to be in a pool hall. Number three, discovery. You just being there will run into shots you didn't even know existed. And you're going to see people doing things on a pool table that you might not have known were even possible. So discovery is a very important reason. It kind of falls under education, but it is slightly different. Number four, socialization. You are going to meet people at a pool hall. So socialization is great. Uh, you're going to meet a lot of new people. I, I probably meet three, four new people a week in pool halls when I'm playing there on a regular basis. Uh, three of my past girlfriends I met in pool halls. And within the last two weeks, I've met three people who are subscribers to the channel in local pool halls. So socialization is a legitimate reason to show up in a pool hall. Number five, supporting local business. Pool halls are not large profit centers. So we need to support them, keep them in business and keep the game alive. Number six, better equipment. Chances are the tables in the pool hall, the balls in the pool hall are probably in better shape than you're accustomed to playing on, especially in a bar or a restaurant. Number seven, and this is open for debate, but there are fewer fools playing in a pool hall. <laughs> what that means is you have a serious, a more serious group of people playing in pool halls. So fewer fools, fewer drunks, more serious players which brings me to number eight competition is going to be better in a pool hall than you're going to have at a bar not only that you will have a wider range of competition the average bar player would probably fall into an apa3 you go into a pool hall you're going to have everything from beginners to expert players milling around so whatever level you are you're going to probably be able to find someone that is worth playing with Number nine, you've learned to play different games. There are people out there that think that eight ball is the only pool game there is. Well, there's eight ball, there's nine ball, there's rotation, there's straight pool, there's one pocket. A lot of people don't have exposure to these games because they've never been anywhere where these games are being played. And number 10, time on table. There's no such thing as putting a quarter or a dollar up on the table and waiting your turn for a half an hour while two scrubs battle it out. What you're doing is you're walking in 90% of the time and getting on the table and paying by the hour, but getting your money's worth. I'm sure I left some things off this list. Hit me in the comments, guys. Let me know what you would add to this list. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe.